Inspire growing minds with a book. Ika and the Elephants. This is by Once Upon a Dance. It is part of the Dance It Out series. After each page, pause the video and follow the directions in the elephant to act out the story. Once Upon a Dance. Ika's brother and sister, Koda and Kanoni, designed a garden and invited Ika and their parents to help. Ika's father dug a trench while Koda turned on the faucet and filled the watering can. Ika's mother held the seeds and Ika gently plucked and dropped each one into the trench. Kanoni scooped up some dirt and sifted it through her fingers as she covered the seeds. Ika couldn't wait to see what vegetables would come up and imagined being one of the seeds. Quiet and still in the cool earth, reaching roots down deep into the ground. Each day, Ika watered the plants and checked the ground for signs of life. Ika was concerned nothing had grown, but Kanoni and Koda said, Just be patient, Ika. Then, one day, a few specks of green splattered the brown dirt. As they grew, the shoots looked like little green hands waving hello. As the plants grew taller, leaves started to appear. The pea plants were Ika's favorite. They had long tendrils, like octopus legs, reaching out in all directions. Coda hammered sticks into the ground near the peas, and the plants wrapped themselves around the sticks so they could grow tall and reach toward the sun. The growing sunflowers, with their leaves launching up and out, reminded Ika of fountains. A few days later, the pea plants grew white flowers, and soon little pea pods poked out. The garden was blooming with colors and smelled like spring. When the vegetables were almost ready for picking, Ika noticed footprints in the garden, bites in the cabbage, and a hole in the ground where a carrot had been. What animal could have made this mess? Ika wondered. Luckily, Plenty of vegetables remained for Ika's family to enjoy. Ika picked the peas lowest to the ground, washed them, and popped the peas from their pods. Kanoni picked, chopped, and cooked some cabbage. And Koda picked two carrots and cut them into pieces. While Ika's family enjoyed their harvest feast, Koda shared something interesting he'd learned at school. Did you know elephants can eat seven times as much food and drink and drink five times as much water as a human? And elephants don't like bees, even though they're at least a hundred times bigger. That night, Ika fell asleep wondering if it was a hungry elephant that had invaded their garden. Ika woke up to the sound of tapping. Something was knocking on the window. Ika jumped out of bed and pushed aside the curtains to see a purple trunk nudging the glass. An elephant pushed the window open and tickled Ika's cheek with its trunk. Then, the elephant curled its trunk into a seat and scooped Ika off the ground. Without any warning, Ika flew out the open window, sailed up and over, and landed on the elephant's back. Whee! said Ika with a huge grin. Ika held on tight as the elephant ran toward the neighbor's farm. 
They stopped at the pond. The elephant used its trunk to suck up some water and sprayed it into its open mouth. Then it sprayed the water up in the air and got Ika all wet. The elephant ran back to Ika's garden and came to a stop. Ika swung both legs together and slid down to the ground. The elephant leaned sideways, then fell to the ground with a thump and started rolling around. Ika joined in and couldn't stop giggling. Ika wished the elephant could stay as a pet and a friend. Suddenly, the elephant stopped and sniffed the air with its mighty trunk. It bolted upright and dashed toward a row of cabbages at the edge of the garden. Dirt and carrot tops flew as the elephant gobbled the cabbages one by one. Then it started on the next row of carefully planted vegetables. Ika jumped, waved, and shouted. But the elephant kept eating. What a mess! If that wasn't bad enough, the elephant trumpeted and more elephants came running. Now the garden was full of elephants, pulling up vegetables, eating and rolling around. Ika realized if they kept going, they'd eat all the vegetables and destroy the garden. Ika didn't know what to do. Ika remembered what Coda had said about elephants and had an idea. Ika ran to the kitchen, grabbed a jar of honey, climbed over the fence, and followed the neighbor's driveway toward the beehives. Ika's neighbor had taught the whole family about bees and how they show each other where to find flowers using a waggle dance. Whether it was Ika shaking or the honey, the bees followed. As Ika climbed back over the fence, the honey jar slipped and fell on the other side. The bees got upset, and Ika ran back toward the house with bees buzzing angrily behind. The elephant saw the bees, dropped the vegetables, and took off. Desperate to escape the swarming bees and pounding elephants, Ika flung open the front door, slammed it, and slumped down on the other side. Ika panted, chest and shoulders lifting and falling with each breath. Ika checked and was relieved to not find any bee stings. Happy to be safe inside, Ika lay on the floor with eyes closed. After three slow breaths, Ika stretched and looked around in surprise. Ika was back in bed. Ika pushed back the covers and ran to the window. The garden was still there, full of vegetables and flowers. A little lone rabbit sat nibbling on a pea plant. Still feeling dazed, Ika went to find the family at breakfast. I just had the strangest dream, said Ika. A lovely elephant came to visit, but then she invited her friends and they ate all the vegetables in our garden. Ika sighed. Even though the garden was ruined, I'm sad it wasn't real. I think it would be nice to have an elephant friend. Mom, is there any way we could visit an elephant someday? Ika's mom laughed and shook her head and said, Honey, I'm sorry, but I don't know any elephants. Kenoni ran to her room and came back with a picture of an elephant on her tablet. Look, I saw a place that saves orphaned elephants. You can visit them. Maybe Ika could have an elephant friend after all. Ika's mom thought it was a wonderful idea. 
A few days later, they went to the sanctuary to visit a young elephant named Juza. Ika sang a song, and the little elephant swayed to the music. Ika and the twins danced, swinging their pretend trunks, and when Ika made a little bow, Juza wrapped her trunk around Ika's arm. Juza wants to give you a hug, the elephant's caretaker told them. Ika hugged Juza's trunk and said, I'm so happy to have a new friend. The end. The end. Thanks for listening. And remember, this is by Once Upon a Dance, and it's part of the Dance It Out series. Check it out.